The city of New York was alive as always, but something sinister lurked beneath its vibrant energy. Peter Parker, swinging through the skyline, responded to a call about strange activity at Oscorp. A new serum, designed to enhance human longevity, had been stolen and possibly released. Peter couldn't ignore the danger. Reaching the Oscorp lab, Peter sensed something was wrong. His spider sense buzzed with an intensity he had never felt before. Inside, the lab was wrecked, blood smeared the walls, and broken equipment lay scattered. Suddenly, a figure staggered from the shadows, a man, or what was left of him, with glowing green eyes and rotting flesh. Before Peter could react, the creature lunged, biting through his suit. Peter flung it away, webbing it to a wall and escaped. But the bite burned, leaving him uneasy as he swung home. The following hours were a nightmare. Peter's body changed rapidly. His strength grew, but so did an unbearable hunger. His reflection revealed pale skin, bloodshot eyes, and sharper teeth. He avoided Aunt May and stayed locked in his room, hoping it would pass. But the hunger gnawed at him until it broke his will. One night, Peter leaped into the city, swinging wildly, his movements erratic and primal. His first victim was a thief breaking into a store. Instead of stopping the crime, Peter attacked the man, driven by an insatiable craving. He tried to stop himself, but his mind was no longer his own. The city noticed quickly, reports of a violent bloodthirsty figure in Spider-Man's costume spread like wildfire. J. Jonah Jameson seized the opportunity to declare Spider-Man a menace, using the horrific evidence to fuel his crusade. Peter avoided his loved ones, terrified of harming them. But instincts betrayed him one night when MJ found him on their fire escape, unrecognizable and feral. She reached out, but Peter growled, warning her to stay away. Just as his hunger overtook him, Iron Man intervened, blasting him back with a repulsor beam. Tony Stark had been tracking Oscorp's stolen serum after S.H.I.E.L.D. flagged it as a global threat. Discovering Spider-Man's involvement broke Tony's heart, but he knew he had to act. Subduing Peter with a specially designed tranquilizer, Tony brought him to a secure lab at Avengers Tower. Tony worked tirelessly, analyzing the virus corrupting Peter's cells. Days turned into weeks as he used Stark technology and fragments of the original serum to develop a cure. Meanwhile, Peter, strapped to a containment unit, wrestled with the monster inside him. Memories of MJ, Aunt May, and his responsibilities flickered through his mind, faint echoes of his humanity. When Tony administered the antidote, Peter's body convulsed in agony. The procedure was grueling, pushing him to the brink of death. His screams echoed through the lab as the virus was purged from his system. Finally, he woke to find Tony by his side, exhausted but relieved. Peter broke down, the weight of what he had done crushing him. He remembered every life he had taken during his transformation. I killed people Tony, he whispered. How can I ever come back from that? Tony placed a reassuring hand on Peter's shoulder. You can't change the past, but you can make sure it doesn't happen again. That's what being a hero is about. Peter returned to his role as Spider-Man, though the memories of his time as a monster haunted him. With Tony's help, he ensured Oscorp's dangerous research was destroyed, vowing never to let such darkness resurface. Though the public never learned the full truth, the weeks of Spider-Man's absence became a chilling mystery. For Peter, it was a scar he would carry forever, a reminder of how close he came to losing himself and the responsibility he bore as a hero.